Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to set up voice conferencing feature in your PB Act for your remote workers. This video tutorial is useful for PB Act administrators. Let's start. In PB Exact, you can set up conference rooms very easily and as many as you want. Let's see how to create a conference room in your PBX. In admin GUI, you have to go to modules and in application section, you have to click on conference module here. Here you can see and manage all of your conference rooms. To add a new conference room, click on this add button here. Every conference room has a unique conference bridge number and this conference room can optionally be controlled by pin codes. And the pin codes are helpful to identify a new party spent to the bridge as a user or as an admin. Let's see and configure the conference room in our PBX. Here I'm creating a new conference room for extension 4001. So uh, to keep the name unique, I'm going to assign uh, a unique bridge number, a conference bridge number 84001 here. So the prefix 8 helps me to keep the bridge extension numbers unique and they are different from the extensions. I can give any friendly name here, for example, 4001's conference room. This name will help me to identify this room in call routing and other applications. In case you want to authenticate and identify your conference bridge participants as normal user or admins or leaders, you should set user pin and admin pin here. I'm going to set up um, any in here. Any new conference joining who will enter this user pin will join the conference as a normal participant. I'm going to set up an admin pin here and uh, whosoever enters admin pin while joining the conference will be uh, identified as uh, admin or a leader and admins and leaders they have uh, special features for them to control the conference when they host it there are so many other useful features here that you can consider to enable or disable I'm going to explain these features uh, to you. For better voice quality and uh, noise background control, you can consider configuring talker optimization and talker detection. For better user experience, you can also set up music on hold class. You can choose to record the conference and you can also limit this conference uh, room for maximum number of participants. You can configure to play a voice passage before a uh, participant joins into the conference. You can also configure leader rate. The conference will not start until unless leader joins in. You can also configure quiet mode um, all the enter and leave uh, uh, beeps will not be played, right? Um, you can also configure to announce the number of participants in a conference uh, when any uh, new user joins in. You can also configure that new journey should join in a mute mode. You can hover your mouse button on here for example and you can see a little explanation of each this feature right 
So you can decide whether you want that in your conference bridges or not. At the end, uh, you have option to add this conference room to exact view, which is uh, uh, our operator panel for PB exact. And the conf this conference room can also be managed from exact view. Once you have configured all of that, uh, you just press submit button and your conference room uh, is created here. You can press apply config and now um, after the PBX reloads the setup, your conference room is ready. Any PBX extension here, now dial 84001 and can join this conference room. So let's dial uh, the bridge number 84. Please enter the conference pin number. Here is the identification. This is uh, the room name and I dialed uh, the conference bridge number. So it is asking for pin. I'm going to. That pin is pin. invalid for this conference. Okay, Please enter the conference here. pin number. You are currently the only person in this conference. Perfect. So we are in the conference room now. Once you have set up this conference room, the next step is to link this conference room to the users. Probably it's not the system administrator or PB exact administrator who host and run these conferences. These conference bridges are actually used by your company's employees and users and remote workers. To allow them to access and manage uh, the conference rooms and host conferences, you have to go to user management and then you have to link a conference room to the users. You can control this setting or for an individual user. Once you link these rooms, uh, the individual users, they will be able to host conferences and they will be able to control these conferences from their own user control panel. While the conferences are running, they can mute and kick individual participants based on the caller ID. So to link a conference room to a user, you have to go to your admin GUI, you have to go to user management and under the UCP section of that user, you will allow and link this conference room to users. Let's see how you can do it in your admin GUI in your PB exact. So in the PB exact, I will go to modules and in admin section, I'll go to user management. Here I see all the users and the groups. This setting can be managed at the group level or for individual user. So we can go to any user, suppose user 1004. Here I'll open this user. I will go to UCP section. This setting falls under UCP because now we are going to manage users UCP settings and these users they will see these conference bridges under their user control panel. In the UCP uh, you have to go to conferences and here you will enable the conference access. You can optionally attach one or more conference rooms. So for this user, I'm going to attach this, this room that I have created. And there is one more room that I can attach is this. So I have attached two conference rooms to this user. I will press submit. And now this conference room can be managed 
from user 1004. These conference bridges can also be managed by phone apps. The users who are hosting conferences and they want to control these conferences from their desk phone phone app, they can do this using conference phone app. As an administrator, you have to allow this in user management in phone apps section and you have to enable and link these conferences to their phone apps. Let's see how you do that. So you'll go to modules and in user management, you'll go to users and then you'll select the user that you want to link the phone app with the conference bridge. Here under the user, I'll go to phone apps and conferences. Here you're going to allow this user to have access to conference phone app and optionally you can also select what all conference rooms this user can manage from uh, from one's phone app so i will select the bridge that i have created this one okay submit now user 4000 user 1004 should be able to manage my bridge 84001 by config and you're done. Now your users, they will be able to manage the conference bridges from their user control panel and their desk phone, conference phone app. As you have seen, creating a new conference bridge and linking it with users is fairly easy. To further simplify administration tasks, PB Exact comes with Conference Pro feature. Using Conference Pro features, you can create a dedicated conference room for each new user, which means that all your users, they can have their own dedicated conference room linked with them and they can manage it there user control panel. This is a default setting. However, you can control this behavior and you can control uh, what all users should have this dedicated conference room access or not. To control this, you will go to modules and user management. In user management, you will go to either groups if you want to manage this settings at group level which is more handy to do, uh, you will go to conference and here you can say link conference to this user, yes. Add to conference IVR, yes. So these two features, they will automatically create a new conference bridge for this user and will also link this conference room in the conference IVR. You can also go and uh, manage this setting at user level. So you'll go to users for a particular user. You can choose whether this user should have a linked conference user or not. That's pretty simple. Conference Pro feature uses prefix 8 by default, the unique conference bridge number. You can also configure this prefix of your own and you can also see what all conference rooms are automatically created by Conference Pro module. To do that, you will go to Conference Pro module. Conference module is in modules, go to application section, and click on Conference Pro. Here you can see the settings. You can also see all the dedicated conference rooms created uh, for each user. Here you can 
change the default prefix eight to certain other prefix if you want to. You can also uh, configure your own announcement for the conference IVR that you'll use in auto delete. We will use this IVR in our next section of the video. After setting up the conference rooms and linking them with the users, the next very important step is to connect these conference bridges to the PSTN network so that the remote workers or the conference attendees should be able to access this conference bridge from PSTN net networks by dialing from their mobile, cell phone or by dialing from any landline number. There are two ways to do that. First of all, it's important that your PSTN connection, whether it is a PRI line or a SIP trunk, should allow you to have multiple calls. For a realistic uh, conference bridge service, there will be more than, more than one calls should be able to connect to your PBX. So channel capacity planning is very important. Now, uh, if you have multiple channels, but you have only single DID number, then probably you will use auto attended IVR. All the incoming calls will actually be coming to this auto attended IVR and this auto attended IVR will have an option to log in to any desired conference room that you have configured. Now I'm going to show you how to modify your auto attended IVR to give the access to conference bridges. In your PB exact, you will go to IVR section. You will edit your auto attended IVR. If you already have set it up or you will set it to a new one and um, you will configure all the announcements and rest of the IVR options. And here for the DTMF responses, you will add another default, another DTMF here. Suppose um, if user enters five, I should take that user to the conference IVR list. How to do that? So I will choose the destination. I'll go to conferences and in the conference room, instead of choosing a specific room, I will go down here I will choose conference IVR list from the menu. I config. Now your auto attendant will have an option digit 5 to log in to your conference bridges. Here you see that in your inbound routes, all of your incoming calls are routed to this receptionist auto attended IVR that we have just modified. So let's dial in and check. Okay, I'm using my Juhu to dial in my DID number and let's see um, how we reach our conference bridge. So I'm going to dial DID number this is my DID number I'm just going to dial this welcome press 1 for sales press 2 for support this is my press 5 to join the conference room dial the extension number if you know it or wait for operator we have configured digit 5 here I will press 5 Welcome to the Sangoma Conference Center. Please enter your conference room number. Now, this is conference IVR. I'm going to enter my conference room number here. Please enter the conference PIN number. Asking for PIN, I'm going to enter admin PIN.
You are currently the only person in this conference. Now we are in the conference. So that's how I can access my conference room from PSTN using the DID number and I can configure it in conference IVR list. Next method is you can also put any conference bridge number accessible directly by dialing a DID number. So that you can also do in inbound routes. So instead of using auto tenant IVR, now we are going to put our conference bridge on a directly on a DID number. You can also attach multiple DID numbers and you can attach multiple DIDs to multiple conference rooms. It depends how many DID numbers you have available with you. Okay, let's see how you attach a DID number to your conference room. So I'll go to modules and then I will go to inbound routes here. In the inbound routes, all my DIDs are going to, at present, are going to reception auto tenant IVR. Now, instead of this auto tenant IVR, I'm going to route this to my conference and I will directly put up my conference bridge, this one, 84001 on this DID. So that every time someone dials this DID number, will directly come to this conference room. It will just ask the password. It will not ask for the conference bridge number. Submit and apply config. Now we are going to dial this DID number and see if we can access our conference bridge or not. Dialing the DID number. Please enter the conference pin number. Now it is asking for the password directly. So I'm going to enter my admin password. You are currently the only person in this conference. We are in the conference. So this way you can put up any conference bridge or a conference IVR list directly on your DID number. This is the easiest step and more convenient when you have uh, DID numbers available for your conference bridges. That's all. So to summarize, we are able to create a conference bridge. We were able to link that conference bridge to multiple users and then uh, we we made this conference bridge accessible from the PSTN network. You have seen that uh, setting up a conference bridge in PBXACT is very easy. In case you need further help, you can go to wiki.sangoma.com and uh, you can go to our PBX section and you can further take help from conference module user guide. This is the link for you. Thank you for watching the video. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to access and use conference room feature while working remotely. This video is useful for end users or remote workers. To host or join a conference, you should know a few basic things from your PBXACT administrator. The first thing that you should know is your dial-in number. Your dial-in number is a PSTN number that you can reach from your landline number or your cell phone to dial into your PBX. Then you should know the conference number. This conference number is a unique conference room number that a PBX will ask you to enter if you want to join that conference room. 
Optionally, you may need admin or user pane if your system administrator has set it up for you. If your system administrator has linked a conference room to your extension, then you can also control all these settings from your user control panel. You can configure your conference bridge, you can host conferences, and you can manage uh, these conferences uh, through your UCP. You to do that, you should have access to user control panel from internet or from your VPN. Let's see uh, how you can manage your conference rooms in your user control panel. The first thing is you will log in into your UCP account. I'm going to log in for a user. I should know uh, how I, I can access my UCP and your exact administrator will provide you this URL to access the user control panel from internet or through VPN. Now I'm able to log into my user control panel successfully. Uh, now I need to set up conference room, conference room widget here. First thing I will add a dashboard. I will add a dedicated dash dashboard here for conference conferences. I have added a new dashboard. In this new dashboard, I'm going to add the conference widget. So the conference widget is my dashboard widget. I will select this conference sec uh, tab here. And I can see that administrator has linked two conference rooms to this account. So I'm going to use this account Okay, now this widget is here added and this will display all the conference room details and settings. After adding the conference room here, the first thing you'll do is you will set up your conference room. I will go and click here and then here I can set the user pane. So the user pane is required by all participants. If you don't set it up, uh, everyone will be able to join your conference without entering the pane. Then you can also set admin pane. Admin pane will be used by you. And uh, with uh, this pane, PBX will identify you as conference leader. You can also modify the join message. This message will be played for every uh, new joinee in the conference. You can also limit the maximum number of participants here. You can set music on hold on or off. You can also select music on hold class. You can choose to set uh, this conference room to wait for a leader before anyone can talk to each other. If the leader, if this, this setting is enabled, the conference will not start until uh, a leader joins in. A leader will always join with admin pin. You can do talker optimizations, quiet mode for better background uh, noise control. Then you can also enable user count announcement. If this, this setting is enabled, uh, every time uh, a new journey joins in, it'll be informed by number of uh, participants already there in the conference. Then you can choose to record this conference or you can also put all of your attendees on mute by default uh, by enabling mute on hold here. So this way you can customize your conference room. Most of the times your administrator will by default set this for you, but you can also modify that uh, for your conference bridge. Most of the times uh, the users, they will change user pin and admin pin 
while hosting conferences again and again on these bridges. I think, oh. To dial in this conference bridge, you should know the room number. Here our room number is 84001. If you're using Zulu desktop or Zulu mobile, or you have a local phone which is connected to your PBX, you can directly dial this number and you can join the conference directly. So here I'm just going to dial in from a Zulu client, Zulu desktop phone. So I will just dial my bridge number 84001. So this is the bridge number. I'm just going to dial it. Please enter the conference pin number. So I'm dialing this conference as uh, an admin. So I will use the admin pin. You are currently the only person in this conference. I'm able to log in into this conference. This is my UCP. So now I can see that my extension is now um, is added to this conference because I'm the only user. So there is actually nothing happening in this conference, right? Let me uh, dial in another user from uh, PSTN number. For PSTN num number, I have to dial a DID number to join in this bridge. So from my phone, now I'm going to dial the DID number assigned to this bridge number. This DID number will be informed to you by your administrator. Please enter the conference pin number. So I will enter as a user pin now. That pin is invalid for this conference. Please enter the conference pin number. So pin number works. Now I'm going to enter the correct pin number. There is currently one other participant in the conference. Great. Great. Now I'm now able, I'm to, able join to join the conference. the conference. So there are two participants uh, in this conference. So when you are hosting a conference, uh, you have options to manage all the participants. Here you can, you have an option to mute and unmute any participant. So if you click on this tiny speaker, now this user is put on mute. You can unmute it by clicking further on this. You will notice that uh, I'm also speaking and you see that this admin is, you know, uh, shown as an active speaker. So from this conference room, uh, you can you can see who who is speaking in the conference. You have an option to kick some participant out of the conference. Uh, for example, you can just press this cross button, and this participant will be thrown out of the conference. So that's how it works. Um, if you want to invite someone in the conference, you can also do that. Uh, you can just press here and just type in, you know, um, you just want to add somebody as a user or you can add somebody as an admin. So I'm just going to add some somebody uh, as, as a user. So I'm just going to dial, put the contact number here. invite. I will just click invite. This is actually uh, going to invite a PSTN user. So here I received the call. 
participants in the conference. Okay. 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 Now, um, the invited user is joined in the conference. You can see that this call is an outbound call. All the control panels are also available for this participant. So that's how you can host your conferences and you can manage your conferences from your user control panel. So I can just remove. Uh... You have been kicked from this conference. So that way you can remove all the participants from conference, this conference room. You can configure a conference room um, as a leader weight. So when the leader will leave the conference, the conference bridge, will, uh, everyone in the conference bridge will be dropped. So that's how you manage your conferences from user control panel.